been a rainy spring, continues to rain, it's supposed to rain for the next four to five days. It rained so much across up and down the eastern seaboard till we had to get our packages remarkably late. And now they've come in and it's cool and rainy. You can have a look here. We, we installed some packages the traditional way yesterday where we pulled a frame out, put the queen in the cage, shook the bees out, got a lot of bees flying in the rain. And today it's all quiet. Now either those bees all found a place to go or they died. So I'm, I'm trying a variation on a different plan today. I want to, instead of shaking the bees out, I want to actually put the cage in after I've opened it, take the queen out, not release the candy plug so she's still confined, and then see if I can, con can control the release of the bees and let them move out onto our drawn combs of honey that I've got to give them here. So. Let's have a try at it. Snap the top. I'll lay that up here because I'm going to need that back in just a minute. Pop out the staple that holds the queen cage in. I'm going to give them a good sharp bounce to drop them down. Then when they're dropped down, I'm going to pry out feeder can. I'll take the queen, lay her in the colony, put the feeder can down, put the lid back on for the time being. Have a look at the queen. She's alive. I'm not going to take time to pull a tight focus on that, but she is in there. She's alive. It's really starting to rain. So we'll put her right in front. Bounce the bees again. Lay the package sideways inside. Put the queen right in front of the opening. Let the camera have a look at it. And then I'm going to lay the top over that so that the bees can get out. The queen is right there with the cage side exposed to them. Put the lid back on. I got one, two, three, four, five, six. I got about ten bees out flying. And it is really starting to rain. So let's see if that works. It can't be any worse than shaking all the bees out in a heavy rain like this. Thanks for watching.